Uh, so I think the panel discussion today has covered a very wide range of issues, you know, starting with the low interest rate environment and some of the challenges that poses for financial services firms, all the way through uh, issues to do with the payment system, uh, innovation, big data, uh, and some of the challenges that that presents, and then also uh, climate change. I think for me, some of the key themes that we've discussed are around data and the importance of data availability for policymakers so that we understand what's going on. Uh, issues around risk and risk management and making sure that we take uh, full cognizance of the full range of risks that maybe uh, present themselves as well as the opportunities and I think on some of the issues today uh, we heard quite a little bit about opportunities uh, but I think another key message was around international cooperation so many of these issues are very challenging but they require us uh, to cooperate as, as regulators and as public institutions. Uh, for me hearing about that I think it was very nice to be here at the ESRB because those issues of data risk management and international cooperation are clearly uh, part of what the ESRB is all about. So I think some of the discussion today has touched on these uh, very big uh, risks and uh, issues that are in the financial system at the moment that we need to understand well. Some of them also have very long-term perspectives. Uh, so if you think about some of the innovations and so on that are going now that are maybe changing the face of financial services, or you think about things like climate change, as well as thinking about current issues there, I think we really also have to think uh, about the longer term and where the long-term uh, public interest or public good really lies in, in thinking about those issues.